boats there. We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky. Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunvald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane, lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Come on, let's go drink. Oh, I'll follow you then. No casks here after all. That cannot be so. With neon new, this near Tim. 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 This town is your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. There's damp on the air. I fear How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly, but he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him. A bout of illness would never bring him low. Did he think highly of you? Oh, yes, yes indeed. The thanes and clergy of Lincolnshire are not fond of me, but they do not yet know me well enough. Not truly. I need your eyes, my friend. The people of Lincoln are not welcoming to Danes. It's troubling, I know. Your folk are strong, hardy, noble. Creatures straight out of stories and tales. We are also living people, Hunwald. More than a story, we are real and flawed. Oh yes, of this I am well aware. Blunt and stalwart, honest and true. I have a Dane lady love with all those qualities, you know. You have a Dane lover. And she's a Valkyrie as well, I suppose. No one has heard from the Elderman in weeks. What's happened? 
Lord Hunbior is surely fighting the Danes to the north. No, no. He's made a pact with them. There's peace now, ain't you heard? No, that can't be true. My home is just there. We've made it. Careful. The house is being watched. What? Where? <laughs> Silver to buy peat from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. Hunwald, praise God, you live. I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, Dane. 